Historical Summary The following chronology provides a brief historical framework for the teachings of President Lorenzo Snow in this book. April 3, 1814. Born in Manaway, Ohio, to Rosetta Leonora Pettibone Snow and Oliver Snow. 1832. Here's the prophet Joseph Smith preach in Hiram, Ohio. 1835. Leaves home to study at Oberlin College in Oberlin, Ohio. Meets Elder David W. Patton of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles on the way. 1836. Leaves Oberlin College and moves to Kirtland, Ohio to study Hebrew. Embraces the restored gospel and is baptized and confirmed in June. Later is ordained an elder. Receives a patriarchal blessing from Joseph Smith Sr. in December. 1837. Preaches the gospel in Ohio. October 1838 to May 1840. Serves another mission preaching the gospel in Ohio, Missouri, Kentucky, and Illinois, and working as a school teacher during the winter of 1839 through 1840. May 1840. Leaves Nauvoo, Illinois, to serve a mission in England. Under the direction of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, presides over the church in London, England, and the surrounding area. Publishes a pamphlet titled, The Only Way to Be Saved. April 12, 1843. Arrives in Nauvoo, Illinois, with 250 Latter-day Saint converts from England. Late 1843 and early 1844. Teaches school in Lima, Illinois. 1844. Supervises a campaign in Ohio to elect Joseph Smith as President of the United States. Returns to Nauvoo after learning of the martyrdom of Joseph and Hiram Smith, which occurred on June 27th. January 1845. Appointed by President Brigham Young to travel through Ohio and collect donations for the construction of the Nauvoo Temple. 1845. Enters into plural marriage, as then practiced in the church, by marrying Charlotte Squires and Mary Adderline Goddard. February 1846. Leaves Nauvoo with family members and other Latter-day Saints after receiving endowments and sealings in the Nauvoo Temple. 1846 to 1848. Lives with his family at a settlement called Mount Pisgah in the state of Iowa. Presides over the settlement for a time. In the spring of 1848, leads a group of saints to Salt Lake City. February 12, 1849. Ordained an apostle in Salt Lake City. 1849. Gathers donations for the Perpetual Emigrating Fund. 1849 to 1852. Serves a mission in Italy. Also serves in England, where he supervises the publication of the Book of Mormon in Italian and in Switzerland and Malta publishes a pamphlet titled, The Voice of Joseph. 1852. Elected to the Utah State Legislature. 1853. Called by President Brigham Young to preside over a settlement of Latter-day Saints in Box Elder County, located in northern Utah. Names the principal city, Brigham City. Serves for many years as a leader in the church and the community. March 1864 to May 1864. With a group led by Elder Ezra T. Benson of the Quorum of the Twelve, serves a short mission in the Hawaiian Islands. October 1872 to July 1873. With a group led by President George A. Smith, First Counselor in the First Presidency, tours parts of Europe and the Middle East, including the Holy Land. The trip is taken at the request of President Brigham Young. 1882. The United States Congress passes the Edmonds Act, making plural marriage a felony and prohibiting polygamists from voting, holding public office, or performing jury duty. August 1885 to October 1885. Serves missions among American Indians in the northwestern United States and the state of Wyoming. March 12, 1886 to February 8, 1887. Imprisoned for practicing plural marriage. 1887, the United States Congress passes the Edmunds Tucker Act, another anti-polygamy law, allowing the federal government to confiscate much of the church's real estate. The act becomes law on March 3, 1887. May 21st through 23rd, 1888, 
reads the dedicatory prayer at sessions of the dedication of the Manti Utah Temple. President Wilford Woodruff had dedicated the temple on May 17. April 7, 1889. Sustained as president of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles. May 19, 1893 to September 1898. Serves as the first president of the Salt Lake Temple. September 2, 1898. Becomes the senior apostle and presiding leader of the church at the death of President Wilford Woodruff. Receives a divine manifestation in the Salt Lake Temple, in which the Lord instructs him to move forward with the reorganization of the First Presidency. September 13, 1898. Sustained by the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles as President of the Church. Begins serving as President. October 9, 1898. Sustained as President of the Church during General Conference. October 10, 1898. Set apart as President of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. May 1899. Travels to St. George, Utah, where he receives a revelation to preach the law of tithing to the saints. Begins sharing this message in St. George and leads an effort to share it throughout the church. January 1, 1901. Publishes a declaration titled, Greeting to the World to Welcome the 20th Century. October 10, 1901. Dies in Salt Lake City, Utah at age 87.